Yankee and the Brits, the place to be. Radio living is the life for me. Airwaves spreading out so far and wide. Keep your FM, just give me that internet side. Online is where I'd rather stay. I've got a lot of music to play. I just adore a Yankee view. Darling, I love you, but give me a show to do. The Chap. The Brats. On air. That's fair. You are my wife. Goodbye, British life. The Yankee and the Brit on air. Yankee and the Brit, Sunday, Independent Day. All this great independent music. On the phone, we have Ashley Rachel. Say hello. Hi, how are y'all? Not bad, thank you. What's going off over there? Whereabouts are you? I'm in Logansport, Louisiana. Ah. Way I'm down in Louisiana. Louisiana. Is it Louisiana Saturday night, is it? That's right. It's always a Saturday night in Louisiana. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Ashley Rachel. Is that we are I, saying Have I said your name right? Right. It's Ashley Rochelle. 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 You know, mm-hmm. I knew I'd get it wrong. You have to get the Brit to say it with a southern accent. And good luck with that. We don't do southern over here. <laughs> so tell us, tell us about when you got started with your music. Well, I've been singing since I was a little girl. Um, grew up singing in church, singing around the house. But I really started when I was about 18 years old following my brother around. He's a musician and a singer. And uh, following him around, just itching to get on stage with him. And then I got out of it. I started my own little family. And I just got back into it recently, about two years ago. Hitting it hard, writing songs. Um, I travel with my band uh, around Louisiana, Texas area, playing different venues. So, I'm just now getting really back into it. Uh. Did you sing at your prom? You know what? My daddy was so strict, I wasn't allowed to go to prom. Oh, no. He he told me that if I went, that I had to be back home before 8 o'clock, and I don't think prom started until about 8.30. How Uh. are you you supposed to meet the right young fella if you ain't at the prom? (laughs) That's right. I guess I was just meant to get the one that I got now. So Maybe that's why Daddy didn't let you go. You don't need to meet the right fella yet. <laughs> that's right. He knew. <laughs> I bet he Daddy did. always knew best. <laughs> <laughs> so they say. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I wish I knew now what I knew then. Like he always told me, you- you'll-, you'll learn one day. And eventually I did. did uh, anybody else in your family make music? She just said her brother. Oh, I wish you'd pay attention. Well, then besides him, I know she was talking talking about her mom and dad or grandma, grandpa, anybody like that. <laughs> Try to keep up with um, me. I can't remember my mom singing much, but I know her family, uh, going to family reunions and stuff, they would always pull out the guitars and the banjos and sing. And I remember my daddy singing just, you know, around the house and stuff. But as far as being actual musicians, it's just me and my brother. Did you uh, sing along with them at those family get-togethers? I did. I did. So you had lots of practice then. I did. Lots of practice. <laughs> what do you think of the uh, generation of country stars right now and the music industry today? Mm, to me, country music is not country music anymore. No, ma'am, it is not. Um, it's, it, it's very sad. It's, it's a dying genre. And that breaks my heart. So I like to keep country, traditional country. This new age, skinny jeans, rock, uh, rap stuff, I'm not into it. Uh, I'm, I'm more of a traditional country girl. Yeah, we don't play any of that rap crap, as I like to call it. Is there any kind of music that makes you want to dance around like a crazy Baloo the Bear? Um, of course, being from Louisiana, uh, Zydeco, Cajun music. Want pop, but uh, you put me on some Hank Williams Jr. and some Gretchen Wilson, and I'm out there with them. 
Oh, there you go. <laughs> we heard some uh, awesome Zydeco. Is it Zydeco? Yeah. Yes, we got. We had yes. some awesome Zydeco um, music on here. Uh, what is Amy Nicole and Zydeco Soul? I think that's what she's that's called. That's it. You know right. it. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. You know of them. Pretty good music. They're awesome. Yeah. It is. Yeah, we've uh, we used to chat quite a bit with uh, Dave. Uh, yeah, Davey, the one Monceau, with the I think his name is. His chest. Oh wow, that's awesome. Yeah, they're great. Great music. Good people too. Of course, they're from down Louisiana, so that makes them great. That's right. <laughs> Louisiana people. They're just they're great people. <laughs> and he told us about all that Cajun food. Oh my gosh! That's why we cannot lose weight here. The Cajun food, <laughs> all the carbs. <laughs> you eat crawdad? Oh, yes, sir. Love it, huh? Yes, sir. I can put it hurting on some crawfish. You go out and catch your own? No, sir. Uh, where I live at now, there's not many crawfish ponds, as you call it, up this way. It's more in the central south Louisiana. But uh, we, I have caught my own crawfish before. You say up this way, you're in northern Louisiana then. Yes, sir. I'm right on the Texas Louisiana line. Uh oh, that's getting between, close. Between uh, it's Logansport, Louisiana, and Joaquin, Texas. You're almost here. I am. <laughs> We're up north Texas, up around uh, Lake Texoma. Okay, okay. Just shy of Oklahoma border. That's a safe place to be. Right. <laughs> so you classify yourself as an independent, right? Yes, sir. You fixing to stay yes, that sir. way, or do you? You hopefully someday you want to sign a contract with somebody. Well, I ho- I hope that comes along, but there's a lot of independent artists out there that you know right there with the big guys, and I think that's amazing. You know, if you can do it on your own and do what you love on your own, I'm all for that. I just I hope I can make an impact on somebody. That's that's my goal. What about your brother? Is your brother an independent too? Well, right now. He's not doing much singing. Um, there's a big age difference between us. So he's uh, he's kind of retired in the music industry. He sings in church still, but uh, as far as performing, he's, he's got out of it. Oh, wow. So do you go up on stage and sing in bars and things? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, I do. And, and I, I love it. Do you get nervous? If I told you I didn't. I'd be telling you a story, but I think that keeps me on my toes. So, yes, ma'am, there's, there's times I get quite shaken up a bit. <laughs> After you get started, though, them jitters kind of go away, don't they? That's right. Once I see the reaction of that crowd, it, it, it's like a, it's an itch and it's an addic- addiction. You just want more. But once I see that they're having fun, I'm right there with them. Like eating that crawdad. You have one bite, you got to have more. That's right. <laughs> you can't just have one. <laughs> so you're getting fat on music too then, right? <laughs> that's right. <laughs> and I like that kind. <laughs> yeah, that's some weight nobody wants to take off, I don't think. I like those music carbs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nothing wrong with that. You dip them in that Louisiana hot sauce? That's right. Oh, no. <laughs> you're bound to have a good time. <laughs> oh, I wish I could eat that stuff. I can't go near that stuff. It just tears me up. Oh, inside. really? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. A Yankee. I ain't used to that Southern food. <laughs> what You're food? missing out. <laughs> what food? I missed that bit. I said, I ain't used to that Southern food. Oh, okay. <laughs> love to be able to eat some good gumbo or something. Gumbo. Mm, that's my specialty. That's what my babies like me to make on Sundays when it's cold outside, which we make it in the summertime, too. That'll warm you up. But they always, that's what they want me to make on Sundays is their gumbo. So what is it? Like a soup? Kind of. It's, uh, you start out with your roux, which is like a gravy, and you add your seafood, your sausage, and your chicken, and your onions, and your bell peppers, and your spices. You gotta put your little chick, your little pizzazz in it, and it's really good. <laughs> yeah, if you're a fire, if you're a fire eater. <laughs> now, now I want some gumbo. <laughs> I was all right until you said seafood, and then I started screwing my nose up. <laughs> you don't have to put seafood in it. You can, Really, you can put anything you want in it. Oh, cool. It's the spices so. that make the thing talk. I'll add some crumpets and tea. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> something ain't right about that. <laughs> I know. I know. As long as you can put a lot of sugar in your tea and put it in some ice, I'm good to go. <laughs> Do you write a lot of your own songs? 
I'm starting to write some of my own. Um, I have about about 20 right now that I'm working on. Um, my latest is the one that uh, hopefully will be coming out on iTunes soon. I've had some setbacks. It's uh, my single, New Wings. It was me and a good friend of mine, Mr. Brian Martin, from here in Logan Sport. We sat down and wrote it together. It's kind of a story about my life, really. My mom, she passed away when I was nine, and uh, my daddy raised me right by himself. And like I told you earlier, there's a big age difference between my brothers and me, so I was the baby and the only girl. So he really didn't know what he was doing, but he did the best he could. And I lost my dad five years ago to uh, cancer, and I wrote it in memory of him and my mom. So it means a lot to me. I'm sorry to hear that, but that's what dads are for, to do the well, best they you. can. That's right. He he did a good job, I think. How do you like working with the gang over Dakota? I love them. Miss Nise, oh my gosh. That lady is an angel sent from heaven. She, she has promoted my mu- <laughs> She has promoted my music. Like, just, she is one of my biggest supporters, and I couldn't thank her enough. She's really a godsend. And a co- everybody that I've talked to with Dakota, they're just, they're awesome people, down to earth, amazing, awesome people. And they have helped me get my name out there. And I really appreciate them. It's an awesome label to be on. Have you met some of the other artists that they're working with? I haven't. I'm recent, uh, I joined Dakota probably two, three months ago. And I'm hoping to meet Miss Donna Ray soon. She lives close within like an hour of me. So I'm hoping to meet her real soon. And hopefully one day, Miss Nisi, she, uh, I would love to meet her because she has really, really touched my heart just by believing in me and supporting me the way she does. Well, she better get her stuff rolled up in a nice <laughs> little ball there and get squared away with you then. Come on, Nisi, get it, get it together now. <laughs> She's awesome. I love her. <laughs> We'll you, sit up late nights just chatting about songs, and that it really means a lot. You, uh, you have any important rules that you live by? I live every day by the day. Uh, if no rules, I kind of make them as I go, and then I don't follow them. So. <laughs> <laughs> You're not alone, that's for sure. <laughs> what we do you try do? to make rules, but rules are meant to be broken, so... Boy, I hear you. What do you do to relax? <laughs> Got any hobbies, or do you have a day job or anything? Um, no, sir. I'm a full-time stay-at-home mama to two rambunctious, amazing blessings. One will be 12 this month, and I have a 4-year-old who is starting pre-K. She keeps me on my toes, so she keeps me pretty busy. I Starting guess. pre-K, um, pre-K <clears throat> did you say? Pre-K, uh, preschool. Yes, ma'am. Oh, okay, preschool. Yeah. Pre-K. Okay. Yeah. It's oh, not a French word. Right. You guys are always teaching me new words. <laughs> she probably thought pre K was Pre-K a French word. <laughs> oh, 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 you know how they talk about the pre K. <laughs> hey, that did sound pretty good. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, oh. But uh, I'm a full time mama, stay at home wife. My husband, he's a full time fireman, and he's also my drummer. Oh, really? So I keep him pretty busy, yes. How do you find time to make music and run a household? That's a lot of work. We're a musician family. We're a music-inclined family. You going to teach I, the youngins how to play saxophone and a fiddle? and? Uh... My little boy is actually in the high school band, or the junior high band at the school that he attends, and uh, he plays the trombone, but he is changing this year to the sax. And... Uh, my little girl, she's always, she has a hairbrush or something in her hand singing to the top of her lungs. So. Uh, sounds, like your boy, like sounds like your boy might turn out to be another Louis Armstrong. I hope so. I hope I can use him. I'm going to put him to work. <laughs> <laughs> Get back a little bit of that time and effort you put into him. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you slave driver. You got that from your daddy, didn't you? <laughs> I did. <laughs> so what's your earliest musical memory from when you were young and had tiny feet? I remember my mom and my daddy buying me a Yamaha keyboard for Christmas. Wow. And I probably had it for a total of two days. <laughs> and my brother came and took it from me because he was in his own little band. 
and he played keyboard and uh, he sang. And then uh, I remember him walking in uh, a few years later, and I was singing in my bedroom. And he said, Daddy, he said, listen to her. He said, she's really good. And, of course, my daddy then, he thought, well, I've been telling y'all that for years. So I remember him coming to the house with a keyboard and us singing Silver, Silver Wings together. And that was the very first song that I actually learned. And uh, we sang it on stage at a little uh, small town festival uh, afterwards. Cool. Do you remember what album you first bought? My first, my very first CD. <laughs> you're sh- you're showing how young you are now. <laughs> or old, or old. <laughs> it's an umbach song, and I'll never forget that because I wanted that for Christmas, and uh, my daddy went searching because he had no clue who Hanson was, and that was my very first album that I've ever owned myself. Oh my gosh! Did you drive over the cassette? <laughs> <laughs> I did. Good girl, good girl. That was the thing. (laughs) Did you listen to it till you could see through it? I think I knew every song on there by heart. (laughs) Yeah. Within within two or three days. I think we all been down that road. (laughs) (laughs) But I could also remember my daddy after my mom passed away, he went and bought a bunch of cassettes and we would just drive around for hours listening to Conway Twitty and Loretta Lynn. So I grew up on all that, and that's what I've kind of stuck to all these years. Hello, darling. (laughs) So what's your hopes and dreams for the future? Well, I'm hoping this music kicks off. Uh, I hope to write some more songs and get my album out. And uh, I would love to just travel with my band that I have now because it's it's amazing that me and my husband can do this together, and uh, we're not away from each other. So I'm hoping... Soon to get more into Texas and Oklahoma with uh, with my music. You take the whole family with when you I, when you go? Yes. When I play festivals and stuff, my kids are right there with me. And usually my four-year-old is up on stage with me, and she steals my show. <laughs> of course. <So. laughs> that doesn't surprise any, me. Anywhere that my kids can be with me, if it's not a venue that's, you know, uh, 21 and o- over, um, they're right there with me. Sounds like so. a good mama to me. Well, thanks. That's right, be. So have you got any advice for your future self when you get really rich and famous? <laughs> well, never give up. If you dream it, go for it. And that's what I tell everybody. You know, what kind of mama would I be telling my babies to chase their dreams when I've let mine go? Why I'm trying to show them that, you know, Chase your dreams, it's worth it. No dream is, is silly. No dream is uncalled for. It, it, if you dream it, you can do it. Just get out there and work your butt off. Would you like to be famous? Oh, of course. Think, of course I would. I, I love the attention. <laughs> think you could handle it? I love it. I think so. I, I wouldn't let it go to where I was, you know, this stuck-up person. I couldn't do that. I couldn't forget the little people. You know, because they would be the reason I got there, you know. So I would I would keep my down-to-earth head on my shoulders. I hope so. It's a pretty tough life when you get way up there. You're right. You're right. Yeah, I mean, you could you could be, like, as famous as the Yankee and the Brit one day, and that is really, really <laughs> tough. I know I'm talking rubbish here. Just go along with it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never forget the Yankee and the Brit show. That means <laughs> I got to go along with it. <laughs> oh. Radio interview, so I would always have to mention the Yankee and the Brit. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I'm not sure what to say. <laughs> I don't care for the idea of being too famous. I'm just happy with the little crowd we got. There you go. There you. And you know, sometimes those small town, little small crowds, are your best supporters. Yeah, yes. absolutely. We've heard that a number of times from people. They are. I have a uh, small group that follows me around, and they're like family. When I see them walk into a venue, my eyes just light up. <laughs> and they are the best supporters. They wear my t-shirt. They support my music. It's just amazing how you know especially being from a small town 
how all these people get together. And then when they see you, they make you feel like you're already famous. Where do people find so your T-shirts at? Um, you can order them off of my music page on Facebook, Ashley Rachel Music. Um, there's a link there. I have tank tops, I have T-shirts, and I have koozies. Nisi in the chat room says, Ashley Rachel, you are going places. Don't forget about me. <laughs> I love that woman. <laughs> I'll never forget her. I don't think anybody's going to forget Nisi Howard anytime soon. Woodstein, never forgotten. She won't let him. <laughs> That's right. She won't let them. <laughs> I could never. Like I said, I've I've really been blessed with her promoting my music. She is an amazing woman. Yes, I agree. I agree. Well, I'm going to steal the moment here for a uh, shameless plug, but uh, we make T-shirts too. If you ever decide to change, uh, oh wow! Well, if you ever decide to change, I definitely people. need one. I don't know if we can make the kind you want. It depends on what you're doing here, but. Uh, you know, ours are. I support anything. I'll wear it on stage, and I'll let everybody know <laughs> who Yankee and the Brit is. <laughs> well, that's cool. Again, yes, I'm yes. speechless. Have you ever met someone famous and been starstruck? I have. When I was 18, I met Gretchen Wilson, who is one of my heroes. I guess you could say. I look up to her a lot. I met her in Alexandria, Louisiana at the Rapids Parish Coliseum when she came. <clears throat> and uh, I was just, I was speechless. <laughs> I couldn't really say much. I took a picture with her and she signed my uh, my poster of her. And uh, she was an awesome lady, sweet, sweet, sweet lady. And uh, But I think I had tears when I met her. Aww. April says, Richard said, don't forget your big brother when you're famous. Oh, <laughs> that is my brother. <laughs> he is the, uh, I guess you could say, the patriarch of the family now. Well, they're keeping an eye on what you're doing, so you better behave. <laughs> <laughs> I have to behave. Big brother's watching. Well, I might as well call her my sister now. She's been in the family since I was three. Uh, she's a pretty tough one, too. you got to watch your P's and Q's. She'll keep you in line real quick. <laughs> good, good, good. You always need someone like that in your life. <laughs> so do you. Yes. You need somebody to keep you in line because I ain't doing a very good job of it. <laughs> <laughs> so is there anywhere that people can purchase your music? Right now, um, you can purchase a CD off of a, just a single off of my music page. And hopefully, and I'm nudging my husband over here as we speak. Give him a good uh, poke. <laughs> We will have it soon on uh, iTunes. We've just had some setbacks, and one thing after another has happened. So hopefully everything will work out great, and it'll be on iTunes soon. Cool. Very cool. Well, we got two of your tunes we're going to play when we finish up here. So uh, we have... Awesome. Now, you you sent us just one, and you sent us uh, New Wings, right? Right. That is my original, the one that I wrote about my daddy. Okay, so, okay, I went out and found that. I didn't realize that. I went out and found another song of yours that was called New Wings, Daddy's Song. Is that the same song, then? That's the same song, yes, okay, sir. Okay, then I'll take that one off the list because I get confused easy. Oh, tell me about <laughs> it. Uh, do you have any other music you could send over to us? I do. I have some covers of some songs. No uh, originals. I do have a, a version that I do of House of the Rising Sun. Okay. That's really popular with my pe- uh with my followers, so I could send that over to you guys. Didn't you do? Didn't you do Simple Man? I did. I did do Simple Man. I have a video of that on my uh, on my Facebook page. I thought so. You know, Nisi sent me. Uh, it was probably about three months ago, maybe four months ago. Nisi sent me a video of somebody doing Simple Man, and I thought it was you. And I was like, nailed it. You did pretty well. Yes, there. Well, thank you. Thank <laughs> yeah, you. Loved it. So. <laughs> Are you ready for Randy's 10 boring questions, his mind-numbing questions? Sure. I'm always ready for questions. <laughs> you know, you got to change the way you talk about me, or you're going to be outside with Alfred. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> I know, it's marital bliss over here. The thing is, Alfred lives in here with us, and she's going to be outside, and Alfred's going to be in here. I'm going to be in the dog. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like my little, my little weenie dog I have, Sadie. <clears throat> my husband loves her more than he loves me. <laughs> <laughs> Our dog is is like almost the size of a pony, 
and uh, oh, he's, a, he's a very big presence in this place, you know, because because <laughs> the place we're in isn't huge. So you know, when he's bounding about the place, you the know, the whole like, house shakes. <laughs> yeah, the place does shake, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. It's like we've got a big donkey he here. Makes the <laughs> he joins us on the show once in a while too, and causes us a little grief. He's still outside. If he's he comes outside, back in he? before all then, right. we'll have him on. But he's still outside. I just said that. Oh, all right. You're going to be out there with him if you don't watch it. All right. Question number one. <laughs> What's your favorite word? Oh, I might not already say that. I'm... <laughs> oh, my favorite word. That's your call. Let's see. Well. I'll ask um... April. <laughs> <laughs> it would probably be here lately stop that but i've been saying that a lot since my this summer break with my kids stop that <laughs> what is it stop that. that's actually two words <laughs> that's, that's our dog's second name that is stop that <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> number two what's your least favorite word that would have to be the gd word Taking God's name in vain. I do not like that word. And you can ask my husband. If I hear somebody say that, I will stop them right in their tracks. Well, I apologize right <laughs> now, but being a Yankee, it's hard for me not to say it. So that's fine. And some people say it totally different. But when they use that, I don't know why that just rubs me the wrong way. I don't use it like most people do. I right. I use it when right. I when I smash a finger. Or when I there do something go. stupid, you know, so it doesn't, but, right. but it's all in the listener, how they take it, you know, the meaning. So. There you go. You're exactly right. You know, that's just like the F and, word. Now, and I'm not going to say I haven't said it because there has been times, like you said, when you smash your finger or something. So, but I would have to say that would be my least favorite word. Well, I've always been about that. It's like the F word, you know, it only means what the listener takes it to mean. You know? Right. Correct. Yeah. If you think it's a bad word, it's right. going to be a bad word. <laughs> Right, and I use that word a lot, <laughs> especially when I'm mad. Ah, you can't do that. You're a woman. That might be my favorite word. You're a woman. You, know, you can't do Louisiana that. Louisiana women. <laughs> Have you met a Louisiana woman? Oh, hell yeah. I've met them all over the South. You ain't got to tell me how y'all talk, and I know better. Some of you, you are. Get mad sometimes. Some of them Southern gals got a bite like a rattlesnake, so I'm easy. That's right. They'll make the sailors blush. I may be a Yankee, but I ain't stupid. Did you just tell everybody you're easy? <laughs> no. There it's you not. go. <laughs> not what I said. What turns you on? What music? What turns you off? What turns you off? I knew that was coming. Ooh. What turns me off? A person that thinks they know it all. Oh, jeez, I couldn't agree more. <laughs> a person that thinks they know it all and they don't know nothing. Oh, you wouldn't like uh, me then. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like Google. I know everything. Yeah, but you're dumb as a rock, so you're all right. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I'm sticking my foot in my mouth over here. <laughs> you go right ahead. Let me know how it tastes. <laughs> what sound do you what, love? What sound do I love? Oh, let's see. It would have to be... Like the sound a baby makes when they're just cooing. I love babies. Very cute I'll have to say that's it. Very cute baby noises. I like when they get into that little giggle mode. Right. <laughs> they just do that giggling thing and they can't stop. You, know? you didn't like them in Walmart yesterday. He was like, I wish they'd shut up. Those, says they're giggling. They're laughing. They're having fun. Those weren't, those weren't kids. I don't know I what those babies. were. They were that cute. Babies, babies and old people, they tug at my heart. Uh oh! <laughs> they both make a mess when they poop themselves. <laughs> That's right. Both of them. Oh, <laughs> both sh- of them do that, huh? Tell me again why I married you, <laughs> please. What sound do you hate? It would have to be like nails on a chalkboard. I've heard that a number of times. Is that really that bad? It is. It's horrible. I can't ever recall. Maybe that's why I didn't like school. But like earlier, my husband was moving our, uh, our, what do you call that, honey? A vacuum seal thing across the counter, and it made a this icky noise. And I said, "Oh, stop that!" <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever heard the sound of wool? 
The sound of wool? Sound of wool. 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 Like a woolly jumper. Well, it, it never gets cold enough to wear wool around here, so... Well, let me tell you about my friend's little boy. He was he was probably only about one year old, and he was sat to, he was sat in his high chair, and he was eating his food, and me and his mum were chattering away, and then all of a sudden we heard this squeaking noise, and uh, me and my friend Lucy were just kind of shuddered, you know, thinking what the bloody hell was that, and uh, <laughs> and it was her little boy Aiden. He was chewing on his uh, he was chewing on his uh, cardigan or jumper whatever he was oh, wearing goodness. and um oh the and, squeak yeah yeah the squeak and i said and i said hey stop that and he started <laughs> laughing and then he started squeaking it even more and by the time five minutes later we were rolling his top right up his arm so he couldn't bite it and there he was trying to chomp on his the shoulder of his jumper just trying to make us all laugh Oh, it was horrible. <laughs> it was so funny at the same time because he knew Kinda exactly like what he was doing. Grinding your teeth. <laughs> yeah. Oh goodness. What's your favorite? <laughs> what's your favorite drink? And don't tell me Louisiana hot sauce. Ooh, my favorite drink: Crown and Coke. Yes, ma'am. That is my favorite drink. <laughs> I'll join you for a drink after the show. What, Come on, what, I've got plenty. What profession other than yours would you like to attempt? Well. I actually went to school. Believe it or not, I do have a college degree. <laughs> um, interior design. I love to decorate. I love to mess with flowers. Um, anything with crafting, I love. So if I can make a career out of being like a big time, maybe for famous stars decorating their house and stuff, I would love that. I think you're the one that said, if you can dream it, you can do it. That's right. You're exactly right. Now, if I had it to go back and do college over again, I would probably pursue nursing because it does make a little bit more money. But uh, as far as loving something, I I do love to craft and and design stuff. Oh, I've heard money's not all it's cracked up to be anyways. You're right. It's not. You can't take it with you when you go. So It's only important when you've gotten on. (laughs) <laughs> You're right. I've been just as happy having two dollars in the bank as I've been having two thousand. You're right. You can't take it with you when you go, but you could leave it to me. <laughs> <laughs> I have to remember that. I'm going to put that in my in my wheel. What <laughs> prof- my beneficiary? Brenda in the chat room says crown apple and cranberry juice. Mm, that sounds good. A lot of crown drinkers. I didn't even know what it I was. Brown- Brenda says it's whiskey. It is. It's a Canadian blend whiskey. Ah. And they make a, a vanilla flavor also, and you put it in Coke, and it tastes just like a vanilla Coke. Okay, you can drink Ew. that one. <laughs> 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 what profession would you not like to do? Oh, probably like a mortician. I Somehow I knew you were going to say that. I don't know why. <laughs> I've actually worked in an insurance business that was, kind of a sister business to a funeral home and I've actually walked in to the funeral home to write uh, some insurance policies and I walked in and there was a body on a gurney and I tell you not I'd like to I I was almost on another gurney with them it scared (laughs) me to death I walked in and all I could do was just throw my papers in the air and scream (laughs) felt bad because the family was there but I, I don't think I could do that. Well, first question uh, is, I, what, no. first question, what's to be scared of? They're dead. And the second question is, shouldn't you be writing the insurance policies while they're alive? <laughs> You're right. You're <laughs> right. <laughs> but they won't hurt you, but they'll make you hurt yourself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that's like, I am definitely scared of the dark. I do not like the dark. And my husband tells me all the time, well, "What? it's the same thing that's in the daylight. What is there to be scared of? Exactly. He said, they're, they're not going to hurt you. I said, you're right. They're not going to hurt me, but they'll make me hurt myself. <laughs> How can you be scared of something you can't see? Well, I can just hear a noise and I'm going to run. <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to make me hurt myself. Have you, if you ever seen me run, you'd... You'd say, yeah, I know where she's coming from. No sense in taking any chances. Hey, uh, Richard's in the <laughs> chat room. Is that your big brother? That is. That is my big brother. He's in the chat room. He's got a cute little picture of a little girl with <coughs> grand glasses on. 
<laughs> that is Riley Lynn. <laughs> that is his, uh, his other little niece on his wife's side, which we're all like a big family. We've been family since we were, since I was little. And uh, that is Riley. She is the same age as my little girl, and they're best friends. Howdy, Richard. Nice Precious to see you. little girl. Okay. Hey, Richard. Go ahead. It's your time. Talk all, talk all you want. Oh, I was just telling him, hey, he'll call me later. He calls me every night. Never misses a night. Now, see, he always calls me. You said... I was just telling him, hey, and that's, I tried to explain that to Donna because sometimes I've said, tell him I, tell him I said, hey, and <laughs> you know, she doesn't quite, she probably does now, but she, in the beginning she didn't understand. What do you mean? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> tell him I said, hey, hey, uh, Nisi said in the Facebook chat, she says, tell Ashley, I have a surprise for her right after the show. Uh Oh, oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. Her surprises are always so fun. They always <laughs> make my day. <laughs> Maybe she got you signed up with some big Nashville company. You know what? I would I would have to kiss her feet. <laughs> I'd have to buy her a pedicure. Me and her would have to have a girl's day. I, I tell you, that woman is just amazing. Her surprises are like Christmas morning. Would that be after you wake up from passing out? Probably so. <laughs> <laughs> One more question, and I'm done with my interview with you. If, okay. If heaven exists, what would you like to hear God say when you get to the pearly gates? Hello? That you're <laughs> you are going to speak to him, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yes. I'm going to speak to him. Um, I would have to say that he looks at me and says, my faithful servant, you've, you've been a... Uh, of course, I've, you know, done some things, but I do believe in Jesus Christ, and I do believe that our God is an amazing, and I, I, I'm saved, and I know that that is where I'm going. And uh, I just hope that he looks at me and says, my faithful servant, and your time is done. Come on into my kingdom of heaven. And I hope my daddy and my mom are standing there with their arms wide open, because I know they will be. Very well and, said. Uh, Better hope they have light bulbs in heaven. <laughs> Me too. <'cause> I'm scared of the dark. <laughs> I just got that. <laughs> you took your I was, time. I was looking at Donna like, "What are you talking about?" Then it dawned on me. <laughs> well, if they, they look like it is the streets of gold, so maybe it's all bright. Maybe we won't have to be in the dark. <laughs> well, they have the sun all the time, so I would assume she'd be in the light. That's right. That's right. I don't think there's no darkness in heaven. And if you, I really don't. If you really want me to get a little on the religious side, she'll go up there and she'll see the light. Oh. That's right. So I think, That's right. I think everything will be fine. Why do you have to cut your fingernails during an interview? Is there any Because reason? it won't stop growing. It drives me crazy. Every time I touch something, my nails rake across it like that, chalk, <laughs> like that chalkboard. Like the chalkboard. <laughs> you know, the next day after an interview, I sit there and I chop out all the crap. And all I do is sit there and chop out all the sounds of him cutting his toenails. Oh, like that was a loud one. Wow, I heard that one. <laughs> <laughs> I have to be busy all the time, so I got to do something. It drives me crazy to sit still. <laughs> you sound like my little boy. He cannot stand to be still. Sometimes I feel like a little boy, too. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a lot of fun, man. Thank you very much for taking it the has. time. It has. I've had a blast with you guys. Share a little bit I of who you are. So uh, I take it you got it all together for the coming future, and obviously I think you're going to go places. Well, thank you. I really appreciate that. And is there anything that you would like to add before we flush you down the toilet? Um, just everybody go check out my music page on Facebook, Ashley Rachel Music. Um, it has some upcoming tour dates, um, some merchandise, and you can also hear some of my music on there and like it up and share it up. That's right. Now you're talking. All right, then. Well, thank you for joining us. We're going to play one of your tunes Thank you right so now. much. You guys were a blast. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for that sense of humor and uh, and being such a good mama. And take care of the family. Thank you, guys. You come to Texas, you look us up, you hear? I sure will. <laughs> Be safe, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs> Or lease.
in the morning. Let's get ready to rumble! Excellent. Broadcasting around the world. Around the world. This, this is your number one internet radio station. The music you love right here, right now. Brenda Man and Donna playing the best independent artists on the